shoulder surgery that's always been fascinating to me is that there's still a significant amount of technology that is coming out every year uh, to treat some of these challenging conditions within the shoulder. If you've looked on my website or you've talked to friends or neighbors who have had shoulder replacement surgery, just one example is uh, the reverse shoulder replacement. It's really revolutionized our ability to treat patients and uh, a lot of conditions that we really didn't have good solutions for until that was approved by the FDA in 2004. Uh, and there are other situations in the shoulder where that happens on a regular basis as well as we're developing new technologies to treat rotator cuff tears, uh, new technologies to, to treat fractures and other conditions of the shoulder. Uh, and so what that does is, as a surgeon, it gives me tools in my toolbox that I can take into the OR, it gives me more confidence to sit with patients, give them advice, and um, be able to counsel them and offer them uh, better outcomes and a higher likelihood of having the kind of outcome that they're looking for. Uh, and so that makes me feel better and it also uh, puts patients at ease because um, you know, 15, 20, 30 years ago, uh, it would be a significant limitation for those patients given uh, the technology that was available then. So it's really an exciting time to be uh, practicing shoulder surgery and, and being able to take care of patients as they come in with these various uh, concerns.